Now that we have uh, Virtual Machine created, we are going to install Kubuntu uh, Linux uh, into that Virtual Machine. Uh, in order for you to be able to complete this task, uh, you should have first created this Kubuntu 13.10 Virtual Machine. If you haven't done so, please refer to the uh, first video posted uh, on Slate. Uh, and then you should have also downloaded the ISO file for Kubuntu. Uh, please uh, use the link posted on Slate uh, to download uh, that ISO file for Kubuntu. So once that is done, uh, we're going to start the virtual machine. So select the virtual machine and click on play the virtual machine link. Uh, the virtual machine will get initialized at this point. So there could be a couple of uh, warning or error messages. Then simply ignore those messages. Okay, so I'm going to wait uh, for the initialization of the virtual machine. It'll take a couple of seconds. So at this point, uh, VMware player is trying to figure out if uh, there is an operating system that can be booted, but of course it will not be able to find it, and uh, we will start the installation of Kubuntu as a result. Yep, so it says operating system not found. Okay. So at this point we are going to connect the ISO installation file for Kubuntu. Uh, for that, uh, click on player go to removable devices, go to CD DVD and go to settings. Okay. In the settings make sure that connected is checked and switch to use ISO image file. Once done that click on browse and go to where you have saved your ISO for the Kubuntu uh, Linux. Uh, I saved mine in downloads. You need to know where you saved yours. So select it, click open, and you will see it will be specified as a selected ISO image file and click OK. So at this point we have connected the installation CD, so we need to restart the virtual machine. So click on player, click on power, and say restart guest confirm the restart of the virtual machine. So the virtual machine restarts and at this point it will detect installation medium and it will start the installation. So we'll need to wait a bit. You see now Kubuntu logo appeared so the installation began. So I'm going to expand the size a bit so it will fit the recording screen size. No, it doesn't want to do that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so the two options that we have here are the options for installing Kubuntu and trying Kubuntu. We are going to choose to install Kubuntu. Okay, so click on install Kubuntu. And now we need to answer a couple of questions. Okay, so first you will see the check will be performed, so we have enough hard drive space. We are connected to the internet. For the successful installation you have to be connected to the internet. Do not check uh, the box for the installation of the third party software. Okay, And do not check the box for downloading the updates while installing because that will significantly increase the time required for the installation. So click continue. The next screen is the installation type. Okay, so we are going to choose uh, guided the entire disk. Later in the course, you will learn about other options. Okay, so but at this point, it will be default guided use entire disk installation type and click install now. So it's creating the partitions, pretty much preparing the hard disk. And then it's the time zone. We are in Canada, but not in Rainy River. So open it up and uh, find uh, Toronto. So Canada, Toronto. Click continue. Okay. Uh, keyboard, leave it at US. So English, English, US. Click continue. And then your name, enter your name, 
Okay, pick a username, pick something that you would remember. Okay, uh, that's my usual username. And then password, pick one that you will not forget. Okay, so you have to repeat the password twice. Uh, the computer name, let it be default. Okay, later you will learn how to change it. Okay. Uh, do not uh, change these options, so let it be require my password to log in. Okay. Don't switch to login automatically because this option, with this option you will not be asked for the password and uh, most likely you eventually will forget to forget the password. And do not choose to encrypt my home folder simply because we don't have anything to hide and uh, this will simply slow down the Linux virtual machine. Okay, so click continue and then just wait for the installation to finish. Okay, so it'll take another couple of minutes for the installation to finish. So in my case it's already configuring the hardware, doing some uh, basic system configuration. So about a minute left. I will try to pause the recording because it doesn't really make sense at this point to so keep the recording on. Okay. And that I will resume the recording once uh, the installation is completed. So I'll show you the last step that you need to do before you can restart your newly installed Kubuntu.